grade 11, uh, I'm looking at page number 102 in your book. Okay, we are now looking at the auger. Um, that information regarding the left and right handed, which we will discuss later in your drawing again. There is a top view of an auger showing the shaft on the inside and an outer diameter with starting point AB. The center line of the front view is also given to you, right? One revolution, one turn, one pitch. That's all the same, right? There it is with the pitch. Pitch is the height of 100 millimeters. It is a right-hand turn, meaning um, that we are going to view it either from bottom up or top down. This one starts at the bottom and it moves to the top, so right-handed would then be anti-clockwise. Right-handed, bottom up, anti-clockwise. Okay, the instruction asks uh, us to do the um, auger starting at AB. Right, and you must show no hidden details and all the construction must be available to scrutinize. So this is basically what we are going to draw in 3D format. There is the outer diameter and they tell you what it is or they show you here as a given and there is the inside diameter. This is a solid pole, this is a, like a blade that goes around. So you have point A which is on the outer and a point B which is on the inner and they are connected. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to divide this into four parts if you haven't done that already or if you only have the one center line here, divide it into four and eventually you are going to divide it into the 12 parts here with your 60 and 30 degrees like that there. Project down like you've done previously on these respective outside points here. Um, as we've mentioned, the pitch now is 100 and if you say 100 divided by one turn of 12 spaces, because it's only one turn, you're probably going to get 8,3. Um, I've shown you how to draw this method or do this method as a construction to divide it perfectly into portions, right? You draw an angle, any angle, you can cut off 10 millimeters or 1 centimeter on line 12 times and you project that and you create the slide creating that uh, construction there. You have to remember that we're dealing with an outside uh, circumference and we are later going to deal with the inside uh, circle as well as which is your shaft. Okay, your starting point is there. That little dot there represents A and B. Right, so from the bottom, it's going to go anti-clockwise, so it's going to go that direction, right? Ignore that, this is going to go that, it's right-handed, bottom up, anti-clockwise, so we're going to move that way. So what I would suggest, you plot A first, from that point right up until the top, which you're going to finish right over there. So here I plot, 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 orange, plot, faintly, and then I draw a faint line till there. Right, then I'm going to have these points touching the inside shaft circle there, brought down as, as well. Right, I'm going to ignore this and I'm going to plot from here on B, which is there. There's my B point and I'm going to plot only on the green section here and be careful. It's all of these lines touching the divider lines of my 60 and 30 that I need to plot. So it's one, two, three there. One, two, three here. Actually one, two, three, four. And then you go across. So when you plot it up, make sure you draw a faint line. Let's bring both into consideration now. There you have that one and you, there you have that one. So now, when you start here and you are going to draw dark, this line here, which my cursor is now referring to from here, it's going to turn that way, so you're going to see it visible here. So that line is going to be there, dark, 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 till that point there. This is now the shaft. It disappears behind the shaft. So that's going to be a dark line till there, and it's going to reappear dark here, and it's going to be dark, dark, until that point there. 
this green point is going to be dark until that point then it disappears and it only reappears on that side which brings you to that there and then you just need to complete the top and bottom of your shaft and all the in-betweeners that you see here remain that remains faint because that is basically behind hope you're going to enjoy this drawing thank you very much